From Logan, the 90th meeting between BYU and Utah State and a game BYU never trailed in for the fifth consecutive game this season. Cougars come out. Aggies have the ball on offense. And how about Malik Moore with the interception? One of the better catches we've seen. Great play. And the range. So he came to get over the top of that route, and his closing speed to get over the top of it was phenomenal and a great catch. Now here come the Cougars. Tyler Algier. They cash in on the turnover. He's into the end zone, and BYU takes a lead. They wouldn't lose later. Baylor Romney trying to do a bit too much. Puka Nakua back here to save the day and allow for a field goal. Yeah, we don't see too many uh, mistakes from Baylor Romney. This is one of those ones where he's trying to force it and this was a fumble. The defender gets his hand on the ball, swipes up in the air. But to your point, Dave, Puka Nakua hustling to the ball is able to recover and save it from being turned over. Second quarter, 10-3. And Isaac Rex, what about this play? A call? great call. It's an H under route where he lined up on the opposite side of the formation, came behind the line of scrimmage so they could block. It's a screenplay basically very well executed. Seven and a half minute drive for the Aggies. Logan Bonner to Justin McGriff. He hangs on and it's 17-10. But Tyler Algier brings the Cougars right back. Here he takes off, David, 59 yards to the end zone. I mean, one more can be said by Tyler Algier. I mean, average 9.3 yards per carry, three touchdowns for 214 yards. Anytime this office needed a response, they put it on Tyler's shoulders. Blaine, here near to the end of the half, the shot that knocks Baylor Romney out of the game, a pass to Neil Powell, but look at this. Yeah, and, and, and it's a clean shot, and what happens is when he hits the ground, the back of his head smacks onto the turf. You see him grab his head a little bit, stayed in the game. My guess is when he finally got to the sideline, they started having a conversation with him and said, ah, we think we better sit him down here in the second half. So Jacob Conover makes his BYU debut in the third quarter. The third quarter was kind of a, a punt fest. It's 24-13, but here, Algier gets the pass and heads downfield for a big first down. Yeah, what a play design here as well. Neil Powell came inside through a fantastic block, sprung out here on the outside to convert on third and two. Jake Oldroyd with the field goal, and it is 27 to 13. Earlier, Oldroyd made BYU history with his 16th consecutive made field goal. There's Bonner, and it seemed like on third and 10, that's when the Aggies were most comfortable. It's all what about understanding angles. Yeah, yeah, you you gotta, defensively, you got to understand your angles, know where your help and support is. Devin Tompkins is legit. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. And so it's a one possession game, and Tyler Algier comes back with the answer. His field vision and his acceleration is just amazing. Well, he's just running away from people again, even guys with angles. Uh, they're finally able to trip him up, and the ball goes to the half yard line. Then he's able to finish the drive himself after a review where he gets his breath, and he takes it in for six. Jacob Robinson, the transfer from Utah State, has got an interception. They're at Maverick Stadium, and that seals it up. And BYU at 13th in the nation improves to 5-0. and 0.